In today's video, I'm starting a new series called Decluttering for Non-Minimalists because I am not a minimalist, but I am tackling my clutter one room at a time. Today, let's start in my master bathroom. Here we go. We are here in my very not YouTube worthy um, master bathroom. This is our vanity. It is contractor grade cabinetry from the 90s when our house was built, at which time they decided it would be a good idea to glue all the drawers, except for this one, shut. So, and not only did they do that, but they also did a terrible job. So it's just gross. We had originally thought maybe we would paint it and we decided, you know what, this year, we're just gonna replace it. We're not redoing the whole bathroom. We're just gonna replace the vanity and do something to the floor just to give ourselves a little upgrade while we are living here. Um, Chris doesn't even have a drawer because his is also glued shut and he just has a cabinet. So in this first video, decluttering for non-minimalists, wow, I can't say that word today, decluttering for non-minimalists, we're just gonna declutter the bathroom vanity. And what that will entail is this drawer, this cabinet, and this cabinet, although this is mostly Chris's stuff. So I don't know how much I'll get into that, but for sure we'll do my drawer and this center space because that is mine as well. Here's my drawer. It's mostly makeup and hair things. And I'm just going to go through it because, you know, stuff comes in and it stays where it doesn't need to. That's the thing. When you're not a minimalist, maybe you're not as aware of your clutter. And just because you're not a minimalist doesn't mean that you should just live with clutter or that they're like, I think it's a false dichotomy. I think they say like either you're a minimalist or you're a clutter freak. That's not true. There is definitely middle ground and I like to find that middle ground. So I'm gonna go through here. You can see I have made an effort to organize it, um, you know, but over time, every organization system uh, kind of falls apart. <laughs> but I've also identified things I just don't want anymore when I've thought about this drawer. Okay, so for example, I literally never wear colored hairbands, ever, ever, ever. I only like the neutral ones. And so I'm getting rid of these, not something I can donate. I'm gonna actually ask my daughters if they want any of the colored ones. If they don't, I will just throw them out. But for myself, I'm just gonna keep the neutral ones. If you see me in my videos with a ponytail in my hair, I can guarantee I'm wearing one of these. That's all that I ever wear. So those will go back into my little thing and the rest will go either to my daughters or they're not trash. I don't really know. I must've shared this with one of the daughters. I don't need these yet, but I will. And I'm not gonna throw them out because I know that I will use these because again, they're, they're neutral. So I'm probably gonna take, maybe I'll take like five off and put them in my little doodad and then I'll put the rest in the drawer, but I won't use them. These, are, this, these will be the ones that I'm using right now. This is a grody brush. I do not need it anymore. I don't know why I still have it because I have a nice new brush, newer brush that my friend Tammy gave me as a birthday gift last year. Don't need that one. And I also just bought myself a round brush. I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. So those two things are going in the trash. These I do use on occasion. Um, they're just these little clear rubber bands. There is one hairstyle that I do where I pull pieces of my hair back. I'm gonna keep these, but I'm gonna put them in the now empty container from the other hair bands. They are tiny and they get lost. They get, they spill, they're like crumbs. So now I have a little thing with those, that's good. All right, oh, if hand sanitizers are good. Molly stocked me up. She um, loves Bath and Body Works and she hit a good sale and so she bought some for me. So these will stay. I'm just not sure where I will organize them into. This I don't think I ever use. I think I bought it to like do my hair after it's wet, but I don't use it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This I'm guessing oh, probably a child made for me, but I don't remember it. And so it's not sentimental because I don't know the meaning behind it. I'm gonna throw that away. Feminine product, this will go in another area. All right. So this makeup I do use pretty frequently. If I wear makeup, this is usually, it's got like my brow filler and some stuff that I use as eyeshadow. So I'll keep that. This, I think my daughters gave to me. I don't even know what it's for. It says blush highlight. I have a highlighter now. It does have bronzer, which I don't have otherwise. So sometimes I get them to do my makeup. I'll keep this for now. 
And these I will never use because they are not strong enough for my hair. I don't even know why I have these and I know they won't hold Hannah's hair. And Maddie has short hair. So no one in the house will use these. Molly has her own stuff. She's now at college. So I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna chuck these. I guess we bought them at the Dollar Tree for some reason. I don't really know why. I don't know why. Oh, this is probably from when I was doing Weight Watchers. I should start doing again. So this will go into my sewing stuff. This. Okay, I have way, 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 way too many scrunchies. I don't use that many. So I need to go through these. I like these plaid ones. I have used these with certain outfits in the winter. This I do use, that's not a scrunchie though. This one I use, this I would never use, never use. Uh, might be good for exercising, I don't know. I'm just gonna take all these out and go through them. Okay, these are the ones I'm gonna keep. And the rest has gone in the trash. Now, I don't have a container per se for these, but my two organizers here together make a little spot right here. And I'm fine with that. It doesn't have to be a technical container. It's just the idea of keeping them contained and that does keep them contained. So I'm gonna say that that's okay. I am gonna keep them out for now because I'm going to vacuum the drawer. This is a brush, a concealer brush. Hmm. I'm not sure I will ever use that. I use my finger, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'll ask my daughters if they want it and if they don't, I will chuck it. This, I, this is random. This is from when the girls were little. I don't know why it's in my drawer. So now we're gonna clean. Got my handy dandy dust buster. I have linked this for you before. This is my dust buster from Target. You guys ask me about it fairly often. That's where it's from. Okay, I don't think I ever should have left that on there. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. drawer is nice and cleaned out and I actually cut a new drawer liner from some paper that I found at the Goodwill outlet bins. I used the other one as a template but it be too wide. Ha! Huh, weird. Maybe the other one wasn't a perfect fit. So I am going to just trim this. All right, there we go. Maybe that'll do it. That does it. Ish. <laughs> we're close, we're close. Okay, and I've cleaned out my containers. I'll put them back. Yes. Okay, scrunchies are going in. They don't have to be perfect. My hair things are going back in. I use them. The makeup that I want to keep is going back in. Oh, please. I have to do that. there we go. Those are the makeups that I use. So here's what it's looking like. There, that's a better shot. Okay, so we've got my scrunchies, the makeup, the hair things. These I am going to save because I know that I will need them eventually. I will lose the ones that I have in these containers and then I'll replace. I do kind of want a divider for my hand sanitizers. I don't know where I got this from. I don't even know if it's mine. It's a mermaid. <sighs> Why do I have this? I don't really know. Okay, we'll just keep it for now. And then, oh, this is my personal care kit, like for manicures and stuff. I use this, I bought this during the pandemic. I love that thing. That has been great since I don't go for pedicures anymore because I don't want someone breathing on me for that long. So that's my personal care kit. This is my concealer that I get from this company like twice a year. So that is not in use, but it will be. Clips I like to put in here. I do seem to be missing a few. I'm terrible at putting things away, guys. I really am. Here's another one. So, all right, so that's our first drawer. Looks pretty good. And I will look in my little like stockpile of organizers and see if I have something to put the hand sanitizers in because I feel like those are gonna slide all over the place. So I'm gonna pause and go look. Right okay, there. I found two options for my hand sanitizers. This one might be too big. I like these Sterilite containers because they have the, the little handles that clip the lid on. Kind of similar to the Dollar Tree ones, but a little bigger. But that seems like it's gonna be too large. Yeah, so I have this one also. This came in a set of several from Target. I'm gonna use this. I think that's gonna work better. I have lots of hand sanities for the global pandemic. 
Okay. Those can go right in there. It does, still is not a perfect fit. Hmm. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Who cares? Good enough. I rarely look in this cabinet except to grab feminine products. This is where I keep my supplies. Oh, it's not terrible. Okay, it's not terrible. Here's my dilemma. I really don't use anything in here. Except on occasion this nail polish. Really. And it looks old. Like, look, it's been so long that I've used it that it's separated. I don't use any of these. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not a very um, fancy nail and makeup oriented person. So I'm going to throw those nail polishes out. I don't think I need to hold on to this whole organizer for like the two things that are in here. That just seems like a piece of sense. I definitely need to replace this liner. I don't think I ever did. I think I wiped it down when we moved in and that was that, which sounds terrible. That's the truth. Um, all right. I'm just gonna dive in here, friends. This is a head massager. This thing's fantastic. I didn't know it was in here. It shouldn't be in here because it's never gonna get used. I thought it was gone. So I'm gonna keep that out. This little wire shelf in here, this one's from the Dollar Tree. It's fine, it's not very wide. I ordered these from Amazon. Um, they've been great, I've been putting them kind of everywhere and it's wider. I'm gonna see if this one will work better. And yeah, I think that will make more sense under here. Because what I like to do is have my feminine products, which I need to just wipe these little bins out. So we're giving everything a fresh start here. These are all from Aldi, these containers. They're like meant for pantry and fridge, but I use them in my bathroom. So I'm gonna take these out and give them a little wipe down as well. They are all clean now. Everything has had a fresh start. Okay. wipe this out even though it doesn't match the other ones I have some other products that I use that I also am out of clearly I need to go grocery shopping I'm gonna keep this in the center for those that will be good and then up top I don't really know what to put up there other than <laughs> that that's that's all that I have no wait I do have more in these drawers let's see let's think about these drawers I know I don't don't need the drawers Okay, let's see what I've got here. I have two, no, I have an eyelash curler, which gets used once in a blue moon, but it's the kind of thing like, you don't wanna have to buy it again. I have all these little scissors. What are these even for? I don't know. And I have one in my manicure kit. This is a nail one, which is probably from the Dollar Tree. I'm guessing not super useful, although could be useful for cross stitch, which I think these are nicer. I'm gonna keep these and put them in my cross stitch bin because I've lost my little scissor that I had. And I have nail clippers elsewhere, so I don't even need that, but maybe my husband does. So I'll ask him. So the, this is what we have so far. Uh, these are from like the kids. Like why are, why do I still? This means guys that I had these in this bin in my old house and just moved it here because the little, the kids were little back in our old house. We moved here three years ago. So that means 
These have been uselessly floating around with me for who knows how long. This is a hair accessory, which I do on occasion wear when I get dressed up, which I don't know when the next time I will be dressed up. Look, another one. <laughs> okay, that I'll deal with in like a sentimental um, kid stuff bin. Static guard. This I used to take on me with on business trips, but you know, I don't foresee myself. Oh, best by June 5th, 2018. Who knew that this would expire? Funny. So I'm gonna throw that out. This is also a business trip item. This is where I, how I used to carry my jewelry with me. And clearly I still have jewelry in there packed from the last business trip I took, which was definitely more than a year ago, maybe two years ago. All right, we're doing great. And then the bottom one is empty. So all I'm left with are these three items, which really don't need to be there. Um, I have a travel area where I keep like my makeup case for traveling. So I'll probably put that in there. This can probably go up high in my medicine cabinet with my other beauty products as well as this. And then I just have that for, I don't really know what. You know, I know what I can put in there. My hair dryer, because right now my hair dryer gets thrown in here in the next cabinet. I'll show you. Okay, so this is my hair dryer, which gets thrown in here with Chris's stuff. I'm sure he would love had my own space for them. So I'm gonna put my hair dryer in my cabinet and my hubby's gonna be so happy, I'm sure of it. That looks great. And my hair, this is my flattening iron. I use this very regularly because my hair is only half wavy. Sounds strange, but it's true. Now I have a use for this space. I, again, I told you something's going in here and then that can be for my um, hair dryer and curling iron. There you go. And now we can clear out Chris's area. I don't think he's gonna mind if I do this because it doesn't look like there's much in here. Um, it is kind of dirty. Ooh, ew, ew, it's so gross, guys. He um, trims his beard and his head a lot, and so there's a lot of fuzzy trimmings here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vacuum that out before I even have to see it. Ooh, really, 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 really. I legitimately don't even know what's in here. Look, oh my gosh, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is definitely not his stuff. Okay, this is a diffuser, which we don't use because I don't have curly hair. I'm gonna get rid of it. If I haven't used it in the two years since I got my hair dryer, I'm probably not going to. Oh, here's some of my clips. These are clips I haven't seen in ages. Look, they're dusty. They're dusty. I love hair clips. That is my most common style. I know it makes me probably old fashioned, but I'm fine with that. This one looks terrible. I don't know what's wrong with this one. We're gonna get rid of that one. And the other ones we're gonna put into my space over here. Remember I had that little space for hair clips. Okay. This is also for the hair dryer. That looks like I might, I don't know. I'm gonna keep, I'm not gonna get rid of this one yet. So I'm not entirely sure what it is put that on my shelf okay banana clips are you kidding me why do I have banana clips I didn't even know these still existed I don't know when they're from oh you know I did an 80s costume one time and that's probably what they're from sorry about my dirty broom that's gross you don't need to see this, this is our lint brush we do legitimately use that another banana clip this is definitely from my 80s costume uh, maybe I should save one because that's the costume I've reworn. So I'll save one, but I'm going to put it in my drawer, not in poor Chris's. Clearly, we don't need this because I don't have enough makeup to justify having that. So I'm getting rid of that. That will be a donate item. The contractor did a horrible job. Do you see this? Just a giant hole. Just a really terrible job on this bathroom maybe they did it themselves i don't even know because i think this bathroom wasn't here when the house was first built okay this is like a silk bag so he could carry his trimmer his beard trimmer with him but you know what we don't go anywhere so he doesn't need this that's a no need clearly it's never been used this is oh look i don't know enough about his trimmer to know if these are things he needs so i'm just gonna wipe it off and keep this terrible of this is probably why I didn't do it the first time but hey you know what that looks better than what was in there so we're just gonna go with it all right so we've got Chris's 
container of things that he uses. I'm just going to kind of maintain what he has. So um, there's his thing. This is our thing. And these are his soaps. And it looks like that's all that he has. Oh, he's got his, um, this is the thing that it came in. We're going to keep that for him. I'll put this basket back and the lint thing and then he feels like, you know, at least he has an organizational system, but that's it. This doesn't, we don't need this in here anymore. And so there you go. Okay. All right. So here's what we did. This is Chris's space now with just Chris's stuff plus our lint brush. And then this will be restocked, but you know what those baskets are for. And there's my hair things, some cleaning products. And then my drawer with the mermaid, um, which I may or may not keep. And there's all those um, clips that I found in Chris's basket, which I never knew about until now. So here's what I got rid of. This I'm gonna ask my daughters about, ask my daughters about that and this, and if they have any use for that. Here's our big thing of trash that we got rid of. And then I did rehome a few things. So I think, you know, if you're not a minimalist, you can still declutter and just get rid of the things that you don't use. So it's a good practice. It just doesn't have to go to either extreme, right? We don't have to be hoarders and we don't have to be minimalists. We can land somewhere in the middle. Thanks for watching. And until my next video, take care. Bye.